Snowdrop Mirror on the wall, which 2012 Snow White movie is the fairest of them all? Um, Mirror? Mirror? Ugh. Oh, yeah, 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 take your time. Oh, you got it? Give me time to think. Got it. Snow White and the Seven Doors made by Walt Disney himself in 1937. I already knew that! I'm looking at the man in the mirror, oh yeah! I'm looking how to change his way. Today going inside the mirror to review Mirror Mirror. Now Mirror Mirror is the first of two 2012 Snow White adaptions for the big screen and before I start let me just say I hope this one is not the fairest of them all. I mean it's pretty much the same Snow White story we used to love. You were you know she's trying to get back her throne or whatever. But here we have Julia Roberts playing the evil queen and she insists that it's her side of the story. I mean come on how many times have we seen this before? This would have been good maybe back in, I don't know, 2002? You know, before Shrek. They are shoving your face to backwards like, oh, it's totally different from the original Snow White story. It's 100% different. The princess saves the prince. It's not the other way around. Oh. No. It's not like it would take a genius to think of this plot. In this case, it's Indian director Tarsim Siganah. He went from some thriller to a movie I've never heard of, to a rated R film, to now this. And at the end of the movie, he just throws in some Bollywood songs to make you go like, really? Which is surprisingly my reaction of the rest of the film as well. First off, the script. It tries to be funny, and may I add, it does not work. There's some scenes in this movie that are just like a slap in the face of the original Snow White story. And Dad will be one Prince, whatever his name is, but nobody really cares actually licks Julia Roberts. Maybe for a rated R Snow White film, but for here, did that just happen? And it's very corny, very genetic, very bland, and the only great scenes are when characters aren't really talking. And it's just super predictable. You know what, I think there should be a rule where if they're making a fairy tale movie and it's not being made by Disney, it shouldn't be made at all. Because Disney does it best. And if I compare Mirror Mirror to a film like Enchanted, I hate it even more. The special effects are actually pretty bad, and I know I keep getting mad to this, but when the story's perfect, why even change it in the first place? You know the part where the evil queen has to talk to the mirror? Well, yeah, instead of doing that, she actually goes inside of the mirror, comes out of some random lake because all of a sudden she's lying down, and no, we're not done yet, walks on some wooden bridge, which is pretty random, and she's not listening to Dorothy follow the yellow brick road. No. And then she walks in some shed, finds another mirror where she sees a weird version of herself. What? Also, the movie includes some giant puppet. It's almost as if they were like, see, we have Snow White and Pinocchio. And we have some very cheesy dragon thing as well, where Snow White has to fight it at the end, and she looks more like a warrior and less like a princess. But all that scene did is get me excited for Snow White and the Huntsman. And uh, excited in other ways. So. So as you can see, I wasn't a big fan of Mirror Mirror, so I'm gonna give it 1.7 out of 5 Mega Marks. Ugh. Um, uh, sorry, but I didn't like the movie. No kidding, this movie stinks! Oh, why did you say so? Okay, uh, 1.6 out of 5 Mega Marks. I didn't think you would do that. Yeah. This is why we do not go to the movies, avoid the Twilight Saga Mirror Mirror at all costs. Well, that's it for now. This is Mega Movie Fan Mark signing out. Don't forget to like and comment on this video. Did you see Mirror Mirror? Are you still planning to? Obviously, I hope it's a no. Come on, guys. And also, I know this review is very late, but I'm trying to catch up on a few of my reviews. And I'm almost there. That's it for now. Like I said, like the video and subscribing to Mega Movie Man Mark is mega cool.